Yes, we've got the heat. We uh -huh. have the humidity. We had some isolated thunderstorms. Uh, there was even a little bit of smoke filtering in from fires off to the north. Oh, wow. Yeah, you Wolf name of everything. Today. Exactly. So we're going to get you through all of this. We'll let you know how things are trending as we head through the next couple of days. So let's bring into that microclimate forecast uh, tonight. And I did want to start off with a look at that radar right now. And we've had a lot of the heat and also the thunderstorm chances coming from the desert southwest from this area high pressure. It's really kind of funneling things up here, especially over the Sierra. You can see how active it is right there over the past 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, the other thing that contributed to our chance of some thunderstorms today is this very small system that's been moving up the coastline. Right now it's pushing off to the north and that's taking those thunderstorm chances with it. So at this point as we head through this evening, we should begin to see those chances uh, continuing to lower. But of course, we've got our eyes on that radar totals today anywhere from trace amounts to about 500 seven inch uh, with a lot of those totals happening along the peninsula and right there at the immediate coastline. Let me get you into the radar right now and there is a few spotty showers we're seeing up into the North Bay. Nothing big, no lightning, uh, but right here through Santa Rosa down to about Roner Park. I do expect the chance here of some showers as we head through about the next 15 to 25 minutes. So so far it's been lucky for us, which is good news. Of course, our drought things are so dry. Any kind of lightning could spark fires. Again, we're going to keep a close eye on this radar. We need to come on for any kind of lightning that does spark. Uh, we will do that for you. Now the other thing has been the heat yesterday, a hot 106 in Livermore. Today we got up into some mid 90s. Things are beginning to drop off 91 right now, but it's still going to be a slow drop as we do have some of those clouds overhead uh, holding on to 80s at 8 p.m. Eventually we're down into the some into some 70s. Now as we roll through tomorrow's forecast, I did want to show you the area of high pressure that's been producing the heat and those thunderstorm chances. It's going to start to move more off towards the east. That's going to allow that fog pattern to take hold a little bit more and help to bring us some more comfortable weather. So I think overall tomorrow should feel a little bit more like the Bay Area and our forecast. So as we head through tomorrow morning's forecast, you can see that fog returning. That's areas of drizzle near the coastline. That is we head through the afternoon. We get sunshine across those inland valleys, but we actually could hold on to some drizzle right here at the immediate coast. Temperatures as we started off going to be a little bit cooler too. That'll make it nicer for us. A widespread 60s here for much of the Bay Area, except for San Francisco and the North Bay. You'll be in the upper 50s. Daytime highs for tomorrow's forecast. Again, down from that big time heat, just 85 in San Jose. Over to the East Bay, have it at 93 in Concord, 77 Hayward. Peninsula, 75 in San Mateo. San Francisco, 50s and 60s and the North Bay 90 in Sonoma 91 in Napa on my seven day forecast. Things will continue to look nice for us in San Francisco through this weekend with those 60s and the inland valleys. We're going to hold with this pattern of some low and mid 90s next couple of days. Go down to some 80s on Sunday. I think once we get this behind us, we do have some really nice California weather coming our way. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yes, All right, Jeff. Thanks so much. Sure.